let's solve this question there is a license plate that begins with non zero decimal digit followed by three uppercase alpha characters which are in turn followed by three decimal digits then how many license numbers are there so what is the answer for this so alpha means english alphabet okay take this as english alphabet so you have a license plate okay on this license plate the question is saying that first you must have this non zero so here you must have a digit but non zero so here you should have a non zero digit so how many choices i have here so you can notice here how many ways we have total nine ways we have because it should be non zero it should start with the decimal digit non zero decimal digit followed by three up alpha uh, three upper case three upper case for example let me put here let me put eight here let me put eight here now these must be these must be english okay so here i have 26 ways 26 ways 26 ways i can put for example b here i can put t here i can put uh, i can put m here okay so something like that now followed by followed by three decimal digits then there should be decimal digits so i have 10 ways here 10 ways here 10 ways here so the final answer will be okay very simple this will be the final answer now okay the same question without repetition the same question if you do without repetition what will be the answer the same question without any repetition without any repetition so without any repetition what will be the uh, what will be the answer so you can notice you have nine ways for this first position you have nine ways for the second position you have 26 ways because these must be english characters now now you can notice once you put b here you cannot put b here you cannot put b here so 25 ways and 24 ways now once you put this eight here you cannot put eight here so there are nine ways then there are eight ways then there are seven ways okay clear so very simple because if once you put eight here you cannot put eight here uh, you can put zero here okay then you can put maybe two here then you can put maybe uh, three here so that is the idea next so this is very easy next what about this you have an auditorium in this auditorium there are many chairs so in this auditorium every chair you have to label with uppercase english letter followed by a positive integer not exceeding 100 a positive integer not exceeding 100 means 1 to 100 what is the largest number of chairs possible what is the largest number of chairs possible so every chair remember every chair you have to give number for every chair for example let's assume this is a chair for this chair you have to give you have to give one english letter you have to give so 26 ways for english letter 26 ways for english letter followed by followed by positive integer positive integer not exceeding 1 to 100 so you have total 100 ways right you have total 100 ways from 1 to 100 you can put any number here any positive integer you can put here any positive integer for example i can put i can put 98 i can put 98 here so there are 100 ways for this there are 26 ways for this so how many chairs you can put here in this auditorium in this auditorium how many chairs you can put here so that will be 26 multiplied by 100 yes or no is this clear to everyone anyone has any doubt in this how many chairs maximum how many chairs you can put because every chair must be labeled okay you must have english letter so this is a chair e98 this is a chair so this auditorium actually is like this this is your auditorium a1 a2 a3 and so on a hundred then b1 b2 b3 and so on b hundred so like this you have chairs z1 z2 and z hundred so tell me this is your auditorium this is your auditorium these are the chairs so tell me how many chairs so man, maximum how many chairs you can have man, number of chairs number of chairs will be 26 into 100 so this is your auditorium you can notice okay let's move on what about this 
there are 32 micro computers in a computer se uh, center every micro computer has 24 ports how many different ports you have so there are 32 computers there are 32 computers there are 32 computers like c1 c2 c32 so there are 32 computers for each computer you have 24 ports for each computer there are 24 ports for each computer there are 24 ports so total ports how many you have total how many ports you have okay for each for each computer you have 24 ports so total how many ports you have that is 32 multiplied by 24 ports next what about this how many different bit string what is a bit string let me tell you bit string means okay so this bit string means a string of 0 comma 1 what is bit string bit string is a string of 0 comma 1 okay so remember these are these two things are bit 0 comma 1 these are called bit what is digit what are digit 0 to 9 these are digit okay so this this is the idea now anyway bit string so bit string for example i can say this is a bit string what is the length what is the length length is 3 for this bit string because this is a string a string means word a string it a string is like a word okay so this is your bit string and the length is 3 so can i say these are different bit string this and this they are different right these two because this has length 2 okay it has length 2 and it has length 3 okay so this is the idea next so how many bit strings of length 7 you have so you want to create a bit string of length 7 for every position 3 okay for every position how many choices you have for every position you have two choices for every position in this position you can put 0 or 1 whatever you put again you have two choices for every position you have two choices you can put 0 or 1 for every position you have two choices you have two choices for every position okay so the answer will be 2 power 7 so these many bit strings of length 7 you can create without repetition what is the answer without repetition what is the answer without repetition without repetition how many not possible means zero are a length seven length seven can you create without repetition length seven can you create without repetition length seven bit string can you create without repetition length seven bit string length seven bit string can you create without repetition see without repetition i can put zero here I can put one here. What should I put here? What should I put here? Tell me. So without repetition, how many bit strings? How many bit strings? Tell me. The answer will be zero. The answer will be zero. There is no bit string. Answer will be zero. Because you cannot create a bit string of length seven without repetition. What about this question? Okay. Uh, so let's see this question. License plates. Again, the license plate sequence of three uppercase english letters followed by three digits nothing is uh, nothing is prohibited this is very simple so you must have okay so you must have three english letters so there are 26 26 26 then you must have three digits so there are 10 ways 10 ways 10 ways so the answer will be this this will be the answer next a traveling salesman wants to do a tour of 50 state capitals how many ways means how many in, in how many orders he can do this in how many orders how many ways means in how many orders basically the question is asking in how many orders so you want to visit 50 city in how many orders you can visit how many orders so remember you want to visit 50 city so what could be your first city for example you want to visit total 50 city city 1 city 2 okay what is possible for first city how many choices for first city 
total 50 city you want to visit okay all the 50 city you want to visit for the first you have 50 choices you have 50 choices for the first city you can visit any city what you want you can city uh, you can visit any city what you want whatever city you want you can visit okay so whatever city you want for example let me visit let me visit c13 now once i visit c13 once this is done how many ways for second how many ways 49 choices now i have 49 choices and so on finally this will be one what is the answer answer will be 50 multiplied by 49 multiplied by 48 and so on three two into one this thing is called let me tell you after some time we will study this okay after some time we will study this this thing is called 50 factorial this is called 50 factorial don't worry about it don't worry about 50 factorial just forget about it don't worry okay this we will study later we'll study later So the answer is this, this is your answer. 50 multiplied by uh, 49 and so on, multiple and so on, okay. So let's see. So these two rules we have seen, product rule, summation rule. 